All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here tonight on this show, and I'm here tonight to talk about game one of the 2023 NBA Finals. And the Denver Nuggets with a very, very impressive 104 to 93 victory. The, the Heat trying to make a little bit of a run the fourth quarter, a few runs here and there, but overall, the Nuggets really controlled this game start to finish. The Nuggets are just clearly the best team this season, and they had a rest advantage over the Heat, which even if they didn't, they still would have won this game. Nuggets, just their starting five is so good with Murray, Porter, Gordon, Jokic, um, Bruce Brown. You got good quality role players off the bench like Jeff Green, KCP. The Nuggets just have a lot of good depth as well. And they just had no answer for Jokic tonight, did the Miami Heat. Jokic tonight, 27 points, uh, 14 assists with 10 rebounds. Jokic didn't really play, play his best, but, like, shooting-wise. But he still had a great game. They just couldn't solve his passing. 14 assists. From Mr. Yokes tonight, 10 boards. Him and Murray each had 25 plus. Murray also 26 points, 10 assists, both with 25 plus and 10 assist games. Six rebounds as well, combined for 16 rebounds. Um, Jokic tonight was um, 8 of 12, 27, 10, and 14. A casual 27 point triple double on 12 shot attempts. He wasn't really looking to score tonight. He was mostly looking to pass, dish, set up his teammates, which he always does. He does a good job of that. And then in the second half, he really took over scoring in the paint and made some free throws. Man, he's probably winning the finals MVP this year. Murray might give him a run for his money for it. Murray had a good game tonight. 26 points, 10 assists, 6 rebounds. Um... 11 of 22 from the field. He was 10 of 18 last game, 15 of 29 before. Jamal Murray's emerging as a superstar, in my opinion. But they are second pair of teammates to record 25 plus points and 10 plus assists in the NBA Finals history. And first one was Magic Johnson, James Murray, second, Gokic and Murray. And, and the light, and the, and their look, to, and the look, you look to the media, say it all. The lack of respect all year, but they're all just ama amazing, plain and simple with the, about the Denver Nuggets. You can't be the number one seed with just offense. You have to have a good defense, and they have a fantastic defense. And they bounce back after that run they made. And you find the open man, hit the open man, and take the open shot. That's how they combine for 24 assists tonight and 16 rebounds. And it's just fluent, beautiful basketball. And they're playing off each other as well, not just being selfish. The Nuggets are just really good. Porter, 14 points and 13 uh, rebounds tonight. He had a few blocks as well, I think two blocks. So I thought a decent game from Michael Porter Jr. 5 of 16, he didn't really shoot good though, but he had 14 points and 13 rebounds, a double-double. I thought he had three players with double doubles but he also had a few blocks as well pretty good defensively i thought aaron gordon 16 points six rebounds for aaron gordon i thought aaron gordon was good he had 12 or I think like 12 in the first half he was seven of ten so he really that's what the heat need to do better they need to get some somebody else on aaron gordon because you have gabe benson of course aaron gordon's gonna exploit that mismatch you got like hay smith or Highsmith on him. you got to get somebody else on Aaron Gordon because if not, he's just going to bully him in the paint. But he had a really good game tonight. Aaron, Aaron Gordon did what he had to do. Be it, get a good 16 a game, 15-16 a game in this series. Bruce Brown, a uh, solid 10 points, 5 rebounds, 4 of 7 from the field, 2 assists. Thought it was a good solid game for Bruce Brown as he's been this whole postseason. KCP, 7 points, 3 rebounds. I think he had a steal as well. He play, didn't play his best offensively, but he, um, but he played some good defense, I thought. But it was mostly a Jokic and Murray show. 
Because the Nuggets just had no answer for Jokic in that second half scoring in the paint at ease. And they didn't have an answer for uh, Jamal Murray. They need to come up with a solution to try and stop one of these two. Or they need some players to step up like I'll get to. Um, the Nuggets get a 104-93 victory. Uh, they shot 50% from the field. They out-rebounded them by two. The Heat did get some second-chance looks. But the stats kind of look even until you... There's really that second quarter. There's really the Heat offense really couldn't get going until the fourth quarter. So they had 20 in the first, 22 in the second, 21 in the third. It's just they only had 63 points through the third, but then they eventually got going in the third, making some threes. But it's a little bit too late for the Heat in this game, I thought. But Jokic didn't play his best throughout most of the game, shooting because he was really passing it up. But he got his teammates up, and eventually he took over and said, but they didn't really shoot their best. 8 of 27, and they still cooked the Miami Heat in this matchup. Only 8 of 27 from 3. I don't think they're going to shoot that four from 3 again in this series. So the Heat, they might be in trouble. Because if you can't stop Jokic and Murray, they're gonna, the, the Nuggets are going to shoot better from 3. They're going to shoot better than 8 of 27. The Heat were 13 of 39. They eventually got going really in the fourth quarter. Making some threes, Lowry, Highsmith, Vincent. But oh, Bam out of ball. We'll get to the Heat now. 26 points. 5 assists, 13 rebounds. I thought Bam out of ball played good. Uh, 13 to 25. He made a lot of jumpers. And he was their leading scorer tonight. You can't hate on Bam out of ball. I thought Bam out of ball played fantastic tonight. I did. He did a really good job of making Nikola's catches like hard in this game. But this 17th career playoff game with 20 and 10. But I thought he played good tonight. They had a bad shooting night, but Adebayo had an impressive shooting night. The ba for Miami, yeah, for but that was the difference. The Nuggets had three players with double doubles. Nikola had a triple double. Two other players with a double double. My Bam Adebayo was the only one with a, with a double double. Gabe Vincent tonight, 19 points, uh, 5 assists. He was 7 of 14, made a few threes. I thought Gabe Vincent was good tonight. Um, High Smith was very impressive off the bench. 18 points, 2 rebounds, 70% field goal, 50% from 3, 20 in 23 minutes off the bench. You only, from Jimmy Butler, Struess, and Kale Murray, you only get 16 combined. Hey, Haywood High Smith with 18. That really sums up game one. But Spo basically has to give High Smith more minutes after tonight, tonight's performance after Max Struess's horrible performance tonight. We're gonna get to Max Struess now. Oh boy, zero points, three assists, five rebounds, zero of ten from the field. Pathetic, pathetic performance tonight from Max Struess. This was just horrible. And he even took a jab at Boston in the social media post ahead of the game. Tonight, because they nearly they released him or something, but even even he didn't even do anything in that series. It was on Jimmy Butler and Kayla Martin and and Vincent and them chipping in here and there. Struz didn't do nothing, and then he follows up tonight with a zero point performance. Just a pathetic performance. You got to get more of those minutes to High Smith after tonight's performance from him with an impressive eighteen points. And Kevin Love, where was Kevin Love? You're telling me he can't get minutes over Cody Zeller? Size is overrated. I know they're trying to go for size with Cody Zeller, but three re rebounds is all you're going to get? And he can't shoot the three. He's slow. He can't play defense. You're telling me Kevin Love, who can make the three ball, can't get minutes over Cody Zeller. They they, they just need... Need to give Max Struess less minutes. Lair even had 11 points, 5 assists, 5 rebounds, 4 of 8. He may even made a few threes. You need might even need to, get, even need to give Kyle Lowry those Max Struess minutes. And, or you can give High Smith those Duncan Robinson minutes. Only 3 points for Duncan Robinson as well. 1 of 6. Huh? They're just so inconsistent. Like Max Struess, I know he's probably not going to go over 10, but he's just not that good. And Caleb Martin, oh, you're not off the hook either, sir. You're not off the hook either. Only three points, four rebounds, one of seven. You're going to have to step up too, sir. This is the NBA Finals. you got to step up. The biggest stage, 
I know he had a good Eastern Conference Finals. I know he's had a good playoffs in general. But you can't you, you can't just slate now. It's the NBA Finals. Caleb Martin. Only three points. Unacceptable. Only three points from Robinson and Martin. You get zero from Schultz. That's a combined six points right there between those three players. Jimmy Butler. 13 points. Seven assists. Seven rebounds. Six of 14. I'm not going to hate on too much. Because he actually got some of his teammates open for good looks. And they just didn't go in. Uh, but I want to see Jimmy Butler be more aggressive. Only 14 shot attempts. I would like to see some more shot attempts from Jimmy Butler in this series. Especially if Robinson and Struess aren't going to make open shots. You might need to consider Jimmy Butler just taking a lot of shots. Either him or Bam Adebayo if he continues to play like this. But Mike Struess, you've you got to play better. You too, Duncan Robinson. You're not off the hook, sir. And Caleb Martin has to be... If Kayla Martin can average, get like 15, 20 points in some of these games, I think they can win some games. But you need to have everybody step up. Adebayo, Vincent, Butler, Martin, Robinson, Strew, Slattery, you got to have everybody step up. This has got to be a team effort against the Nuggets, the best team in basketball. The best team overall this year. Because you just they have no answer for Jokic and Murray. But I feel like if they can stop one of them, they can at least have a chance, but... They just don't. I feel like they just don't have enough firepower to defeat the Nuggets. The Nuggets are just so good. They have depth. Their starting lineup's just so good. And they got some good depth players with it. Like Bruce Brown. Um, Jeff Green. Christian Brown. But, um, yeah, that's all for game one that I really want to get to, so... Uh, but game two is on Wednesday. I don't really get the scheduling from the NBA here. Um, that the next game's in on Wednesday in like three days. Well, now two days technically. I know on Sunday, excuse me. I don't get why game two is not on Saturday. I don't get that from the NBA the scheduling. But yeah, that's really all to say for this video. So until next time, I'm like peace.